Have you heard the story? The legend of the ninja Batman. Hey guys, me host Super Zoro. Thank you very much for tuning in. Look what I got! It's Ninja Batman. So, before we go on with... Stop messaging me, Richard. I know that's Richard. That's got to be Richard. <laughs> or Andy. Is it one or the other? Damn you guys. <laughs> so, guys, welcome. <laughs> Before I get on with today's video, I'm going to go ahead and jump straight to the desk cam and build up the Ninja Batman so you can see how it builds together and how it looks. So let's get on with building Ninja Batman. Guys, it's time to review the Ninja Batman. We've assembled all the pieces here to build a Batman made of Ninja. <laughs> that made no sense. But we're going to build him anyway. So let's go ahead and build up the Ninja Batman. the ninja batman let's take a look this figure is amazing i really like this i basically bought that entire dc wave solely for starfire and batman so i've actually sold most of the other figures on because uh, i only i only really wanted these two figures from the whole wave um the others were fun to review but not my cup of tea really i wanted this batman more than anything because i loved the anime that they made of Ninja Batman. It was such a cool movie by DC. I really hope they take, you know, they take something like that and do that again, because that was amazing. Um, but you, Batman, uh, straight up, let's have a look at the articulations. The head is on a ball drag. You can look quite far up as well as quite far down and left and right. The head is, isn't actually attached to the actual figure. It's attached to the cape, and then the cape is attached to the actual body, which is nice. The arms do lift up and do rotate at that top hinge. There's also rotation at the bicep with a double hinged elbow there. And the hands are also on ball joints. You do also get an alternate set of hands which are just fisticuffs. But actually these hands are actually quite fisticuffed anyway. So I don't think there'll be much need for them. There is actually an ab crunch which you can crunch them forwards as well as backwards quite well. Um, there isn't a waist swivel on this one which is um, a bit annoying but it'll do. You can kind of rotate a little bit at the hips there and there is a top thigh cut on each leg so that does help as well. There is a double hinged knee as well which is nice as well as, oh no there's no, there's no boot cut but there is rocker and pivot in the feet and you can also get uh, holes in the feet ready for a stand should you want to use one however i've not needed to use one while posing and playing with it it's solely just it just stands up perfectly every time um although the ab crunch is getting a little bit looser than i would have liked <coughs> it's still very poseable <coughs> again it's a bath figure that pulls apart so it's not going to be the uh, the tightest of figures as they're obviously made to pop apart unlike other figures i know other figures do pop apart but this one is made to be built, basically, so it's not going to be as tight as some other fat, like, like fat, uh, you know, uh, factory sealed figures. Um, so let's go anyway to the desk cam again, so you guys can get an up close personal look at this awesome Batman and see it up close on the desk cam. So let's go down to the desk cam. So guys, here is Ninja Batman out of the packaging. Well, he's not really had much packaging, but you know what I mean. He's freshly built and looking crisp and clean. So let's give him an overall look. So the actual blade does fit in both hands, so you can kind of have it like I've got it where we've crossed it over his body. It does look pretty decent like that. Um, it's like The only annoying thing is he doesn't have anywhere to actually hold the sheath of the weapon. As you can see, it's just static on the bottom of the spinny wheel there. Oop, spinny wheel there. Um, I wish there was somewhere to attach that to his physical body, but I seem to not be able to find anywhere. 
The actual paintwork on the figure, though, is very good. Apart from a few minor issues I've noticed, like on the legs, there is a few specks of yellow on the black. But other than that, that's basically the only paint issue i found. Even the blade itself is very crisp and clean and silver with a, with a, bat, with a hint of dark grey in there. And the sheath itself even has like the little bat symbols and buckles on it, just like the rest of the costuming. And there are the two fisticuff hands as well for this figure. The Ninja Batman, though, is a very detailed figure. Let me just set the spinny wheel going for you. It is a very detailed figure, and uh, one that I'm definitely glad I've managed to get in my collection overall, because it is actually very nice. I really like the way this turned out. Um, especially in that pose as well. I think I've got a decent pose going on there for the Ninja Batman. But yeah, I'm, I'm really happy that they've made this one. The anime was very cool. If you haven't seen it, I really recommend watching it. It was definitely up there for me as one of my favourite DC movies. Um, and yeah, just the the idea of the of the of the, the, the of Ninja Batman. I know they made an SH figure art as a version, but I actually really like this multiverse version. I think it does hold up very well. Although I haven't actually had the opportunity to review the SH figure arts version, so it may be a lot better. But to me, the multiverse version seems like a great figure. And if you can pick up the wave cheap like I did from Kapow, uh, KapowToys.co.uk, please check them out. I think the whole wave was eighty quid. Um, so I managed to sell a few figures off and get a, quite a bit of my money back, and I've managed to get away with getting the, um, you know, the bath figure here for, for Ninja Batman, which I wanted, and of course uh, I managed to get the uh, the um, Starfire figure as well, which I'm very happy about. So all in all, it was a decent wave, and it's probably one of the last waves that I'll be reviewing by Mattel, as the license has now moved over to. Um, <clears throat> to McFarlane's, and I'm very happy to see that McFarlane's have already leaked out a lot of their stuff in America. Um, we do the new seats already be out on display and stuff out there in America. People have been able to pick them up, so I'm very happy to hear that they'll be in England by the end of this month. So I've got my pre-orders in anyway. Uh, but yeah, I should be reviewing a little bit more DC content this year. That should make the DC fans happy out there. With the lack of Marvel in the cinemas this year, I'm not sure what's going to happen figure-wise because we don't normally get merchandise for Sony. Uh, Marvel films so with only Black Widow really announced in Eternals DC's got obviously a few fair things out this year including obviously the Harley Quinn uh, Bir Birds of Prey, the anticipation of Harley Quinn that should give us a fair few products and there's a few DC movies out this year in, anim in animation as well including the long anticipated Hush so I'm very excited to see that oh, is Hush out already? I can't remember I, haven't, yeah, I don't know but there's a fair few movies coming out anyway. <laughs> but guys, I've waffled on enough. Let's take this guy over to the diorama and we'll see him compared to some other figures in the line. So guys, here is the lineup that I want to compare it to. So here is the, our Ninja Batman. He's quite big for a multiverse figure. As you can see, opposite, uh, opposite Stafford, he's actually quite a big figure by comparison. So I'm very happy to see that. Obviously, she's a, a, no, a female character. I've got a knee slightly bent. But she is a little, just a, a little bit shorter than Batman. Uh, the, the rest of the figures are actually, you know, reboxed now, ready for uh, being sold onto other collectors. But as you can see, he's actually not that far off the NECA Predator, um, the, the recently released laser shot which I've reviewed. And again, comparing to Thanos there as well, Thanos is still one of the biggest figures I own here, and that's the new select Thanos from Disney Store. So if you haven't seen these reviews as well, guys, please do check them out. We've got the laser shot Predator. And the large MCU new select Thanos from Disney Store there as well. And if you haven't seen the other reviews from this wave of DC, go back and check out the reviews of the rest of the wave. But guys, I want to thank you very much for watching. Let's go back to the main cam though and finish off today's video. So for now, our Ninja Cape Crusader is going with all the recent purchases and the recent stat statues right there on the shelf. Yeah. What do you guys think of this one then? Is it one that you're going to be getting for your collection? Let me know in the comments below. And I hope you enjoyed this review today, guys. If you did, then please make sure you subscribe. That always helps us out, guys. Thank you so much. Let's get back to the main cam and finish off this video. So guys, what are your thoughts on Ninja Batman? Let me know in the comments down below. If you enjoyed today's video, guys, please make sure you smash that subscribe button. Subscribing really supports us. It really helps us out and helps us keep making awesome videos. Thank you very much for watching, guys. And until next time, may the force be with you.